My name is Sandy Holman, AKA the Purple Lady, and this is my California food story. Today, we're making gumbo. Oh, give me a hug, you can't just walk by and not give me a hug. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, you're so welcome. Come on by, give me a hug. To all of you beautiful people here, Take pride in your history. That determines where you go. Make a point to know personally your history. I absolutely love bringing people together from different backgrounds and spaces and places. Even though gumbo is the official dish in Louisiana, it goes way back before Louisiana. Gumbo is a West African word, and that's how you say okra in a lot of West African languages. Stews based on okra were very popular all over West Africa. Okra was used as a thickening agent. There are indigenous contributions like sassafras, and there are French contributions like the roux. I like to see it as sort of the love pot of culture. By 1721 in Louisiana, half of the people who lived there were African. Gumbo is a virtual mix of culture, but it's solidly based on African culture. And it precedes Louisiana and Cajun culture. They don't get credit for it because they didn't get a chance to write things down. So many recipes in America are affected by the slaves and the cooks to this day. My family is Southern in tradition, but I was a part of the Hill family. They had 14 kids. One of the Hills came out to California, kind of running away from some challenges, and her name was Rosie Hill. She brought all the things that she had learned, um, you know, traditionally that women of the day would learn in their cooking over here. My mother's tradition was basically what I've made here today, which is the sausage and the shrimp. My mother made the best pot of combo that I can't even replicate. And I used to make it every year at the end of Kwanzaa. When my sister passed away 12 years ago, I just stopped making it. I was sad, I missed my sister. She was the cook of the family. I've lived here since the fifth grade, and food has always been a galvanizing force for bringing together our family, our neighbors, our friends. My mother, you know, she did things by taste. We didn't measure. So even I don't measure with the gumbo. When you're making traditional gumbo, you should have a roux. And a roux is basically flour cooked in some sort of fat. Um, some people use butter, some people use oils. You slowly cook it until it kind of becomes a nice brown. You saute your garlic in it. After you finish your roux and you stir-fried those things in bell pepper, my mother used to make a special broth with chicken. In that chicken, she'd put special herbs, some of which are her secrets, and then she would put more bell pepper, garlic. She'd have a, a chicken base that she'd put in there. And also, we would use black pepper, cayenne pepper, white pepper, basil. You really got to have some sort of smoked sausage in it. Fresh chopped tomatoes with special herbs and seasonings make it yummy. Celery is a key ingredient. A lot of people cut the leaves off, but you want the flavor in the celery. I use shrimps. I love shrimp, so I have a lot of shrimp in mind. And again, you put this toward the end. The crab doesn't take very long. There's about five or six other things mom put in there that, that are secrets. Today, uh, the people that are here are an assortment of people that I love from different backgrounds. Gumbo to me, templifies that incredible diversity. I'm essentially emulating my mom's love. That was her superpower. I like to think it's my superpower, is love. And not that cuddly, fuzzly love, but that real love that's willing to risk coming together over a good plate of food. When I cook, it is totally a language of love. And I'm gonna spend hours laboring to care and show my care for you. That is so critical right now because there's so many people out there who are not being their best selves. And that's not the language of who we are as Americans and who we are as a part of a greater humanity. You think about those African ancestors and the other group's footprints 
are all up in it. So it is the love, it is the love concoction because it brings us all together culturally. Be vibrant like gumbo. Be diverse like gumbo as far as what you put in it, the flavors and the taste. Like gumbo, just be a full pot of love. Take pride in your history because they left footprints and they left shoulders. One day, you will be the elder. Yes. And what you say is not nearly as important as what you do.